Okay, meal prep going on, but I wanted to share a few things with y'all. I've got my sea salt with rice. You see the holes in this? But this is sea salt with rice. This is my hubby set here. I put it where he eats and stuff. Sometimes we eat in different places, different meals, different times. And when we do eat together, I have a totally different uh, setup for myself for the salt and pepper. Anyway, I go ahead with these. There's a top. Look how big these holes are. I think this may have been at a restaurant at one time for crushed red pepper, things like that, that are really, really big. You know, or a red pepper itself that's got some good sized chunks. I'm thinking that's what this set was, but I decided to take it because, you know, look at me. I love my jars. I've got them everywhere. So anyway, I brought this set home from a thrift store, large hole. So what I do is I take my scotch tape and I tape underneath and just leave a couple of the holes so that you're not pouring a ton of pepper or salt on your foods. And today I am doing fresh peppercorn. See how the peppers look, peppercorn, when you get them. I get them from nuts.com. A lot of my bulk, uh, salt, pepper, nuts, and all that comes from nut.com. Anyway, there's my peppercorn beforehand and then the fresh ground pepper here. I also do it with pink salt. I buy pink salt wherever. I, it's either on nuts.com or it's at a local store here. And they come in big size granules. So what I do is I use my trusty old coffee bean grinder. And now it becomes a peppercorn, fresh pepper, and sea salt grinder. So, but see how nice this stuff still is. It moves. It's nice. It's not stuck together. It's sea salt. I actually use plastic like cling wrap. You'll see it on all my stuff to keep moisture out. My rice, my oats, my salt, my yeast up here, coconut flakes. I keep, you'll see it up there. I have something under these lids because sometimes they don't seal real well. They're getting old and I don't want moisture in this stuff and I definitely don't want some little freaky critters getting inside my food. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today. I am meal prepping. Those are some of my tricks that I use for keeping stuff fresh for as long as possible and keeping your salt and stuff from getting wet and funky and nasty and having to move because you know the kitchen gets moisture in it quite a bit from cooking and all. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys.